G'day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks here, and in today's video we're going to have a look at how I created this Legolized Dark Knight Returns Batman. It is based upon this classic image by Frank Miller in his seminal work, The Dark Knight Returns. This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. This was the first time I'd really tried to take an iconic image and Legolize it. So it's always going to be an iterative process of working out things as you go along. So I had to initially figure out how much it would stay like the original Dark Knight Returns image and how much it leaned towards Lego constraints. The biggest challenge was just getting the proportions right. Usually when drawing superheroes, they are a heroic seven heads high. Lego figures are usually broken into rough thirds, one third legs, one third torso, and a small one third for the head. The Batman Lego minifigure has an extra complication of the cow piece being quite tall compared with normal heads. So the first part of the video I'm wrestling around with the proportions, the head starting off way too small and the body feeling too lean and too lanky. Then I'm bouncing between how the Frank Miller image looks and how that translates into Batman Lego. It is always much more simplified. This then restricts movement, but I don't want to lose that pose. I have a Batman minifigure as reference, but it isn't the Dark Knight version, so also having some artistic license in the interpretation. I'm also trying to keep the cape feel from the original Miller image, but then wanting it to still have that feeling of Lego cloth. I'm bouncing backwards and forwards between grey and blue pencils, with the original rough done in Prismacolor markers. It does make it look a little bit of a mess, and need to simplify this in the future. Once I'm happy with the general layout, I start tightening the line work and making it crisper with a standard felt tip. I'm continuing to refine as still not 100% happy with everything. So once I get the line work done, break out some watercolours to add some colour. I'm trying to keep it very much in the same realm as the original colorist Lynn Varley did, but lightening it a little as it is a Lego minifigure. The base colors are Batman's blue and gray outfit, then just add in some darker shadow colors. I've always had a nostalgic connection with this image, as when we were in junior high, the school let the students paint a life-size version of this on the hallway wall. It wasn't until years later it realized it was actually from The Dark Knight Returns. I believe it is where Batman is jumping out of the tank. My copy of the book is in storage, so don't have it to hand. Then just constantly refining, noodling, and tweaking detailed colors. And of course adding a signature in the bottom right. A few more tweaks, and I think we'll call it done. Uh, maybe now. And there you have it. We'll go in for some close-up detail. As an artist, always see how it could be improved, but for a first attempt, think it is reasonably successful. Just another look at the source image it was based off, and back again one last time. If you'd like your own original LEGO artwork, or an artwork of your sig fig, drop me a line at matt at mattelder.com. This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. If for some crazy reason you'd like to see the real-time version of this, it was done as a three-hour live stream here. Otherwise, here are some other videos you might be interested in. Until next time when we talk about all things LEGO.